And I don't look at the camera. <laughs> I'm Jeff Kish. I've been with NSI for almost seven years and uh, lead the data center practice. The way I describe stateless computing is if I were to ask you today, many of us would say, oh, it's got memory, it's got compute, network NICs, fiber channel HBAs. But if you ask an application, how do you define the server? What's the application see? The application sees policies, like RAID policies and boot policies. So that's what I call the soul of the server. We see the body, we see the, the hard drive sitting there, we see the, the memory and the CPU and the motherboard, and all of the components that if I was a college kid in a dorm room, that's what I would throw together to build a gaming PC. But let's say you're in operation and there's a hardware failure and I have to swap out my NIC. Going back 20 years in the industry, we've always bound our identity to those pieces of hardware. So if I'm going to swap out hardware, now my identity changes. And if you ask a server guy, hey, you know, my worldwide node name just changed, any problem with that, they will have a problem with that. We've, we've always had this problem where the soul of the server is bound to the, to the body. UCS doesn't do it that way. UCS sees the soul of the server as just that. It's transient, it can move from one body to another. Let's leverage software-defined infrastructures and say, I'm going to define a server from the ground up in software, and I apply that to a physical host server. And if that physical host server has an issue, or thinking outside the box, five years later, I want to upgrade this server to a new Intel, the next generation of Intel with bigger, badder memory, right? I mean, think about what you have to do today versus with UCS. I just slide another server into the rack and I move that soul, that, that service profile that Cisco calls it, move that soul from this body to this body. It's a point and click operation and it solves so many pain points. The fact that I can go to my management now and I can say, hey, in the event of an outage, before on my old server platform, if one of these hosts died, maybe it's a bare metal host, maybe it's a key database virtualized host, that'd be down for hours, right? And, and today, I'm gonna be down at most for 15 minutes while I move this over. That's a business outcome.